how do you learn the art of design? A lot of what Michael has said about the training of um, and background of lighting design applies to a designer. Um, I feel very strongly that the designer must come from an art background, which means many hours in the studio. And the more I designed, the more I came to terms with the fact it was like a moving painting. The designer is creating a visual world for the director, for the actors. But all the things you apply as a, to painting, you apply to theatre design. So just basics, like how do you give focus through colour, texture, light, shape, form. If you learn in the abstract through an art school system, those are your tools, like how you do scales if you're a musician. Did you start as a painter before you became a stage designer? Well, I had a very different background to a lot of people. That From the time I was a small child, I was involved in theatre because my mother had a theatre school. And in fact, at one point, I always wanted to be a designer from the time I was small. And in fact, I sent to, because I grew up in Britain, obviously, I sent, um, cop uh, uh, I went in for competitions that BBC ran for young children for their design. And somewhere my mother kept one of my first designs when I was about eight, where I actually was very precocious and said I wanted to, this should be a scrim on this drawing I'd done for the for this competition when I was eight years old. Um, and what happened was that because she had the theatre school, I was able to do acting, directing movement lessons, classes in the school, at the same time do my art training to become a designer, because in Britain at that time especially, if you were going to become a theatre designer, it was part of an art college system. And what happens now is there's some very good programmes. I think the closest is probably the National Theatre School, where you're working on being a designer every day, that you don't have other classes. The only disadvantage of going to art college is that when you're in a university system, you get this very broad education, which helps you then to create the world of the theatre of the play and if you um, if you go to art school you are continually doing life drawing painting still lives learning color through looking and a lot of design is training your eye to look to see how do you how do you learn about color through looking you by painting by mixing your colors color wheels Colour books on colour are some of the worst things around because they actually don't tell you how, to, how the colour is achieved. You need to do colour, you need to look at a landscape, you need to look at a still life and say, is that colour bluer, is that colour greener, is that redder, is that a warm palette, is that a cool palette? And do you mean you do that, you learn that only by yourself mixing and coming up? I think up? so, yeah, I think so. Everybody says I've got a good eye for colour and I'm sure it's because going through art school, you, if you try and learn colour through a book, it's not the same thing. Or Photoshop. Or through How many Photoshop. visual artists now are using Photoshop, which I is the antithesis of what you're saying. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Because it's like, I call it blue jeans and I love the computer and I love doing it, but it's a blue jeans approach that it all comes from the same place and is basically the same idea. And you'll never really find it out until you get your brush in a bit of yellow and a bit of blue and perhaps dirty it with a bit of red. You'll get a beautiful dark sagey green like Desmond Healy would do in his designs, which is a lovely, interesting colour that you'll never find on the computer really. And anyway, if you're going to talk to your dyer for dyeing costumes, if the colour isn't wrong, isn't right in the sample she gives you, how are you going to be able to say, I think if you added a little bit more red to that, you get the right colour range? Right. 
So it's essential, I think, same thing with drawing. It's funny, when I'm drawing my costume designs, it comes up out of the page, and so often the way I draw it on paper, the way I paint it on the paper, gives me ideas on fabrics, on the character, who that character might be. Because that is a very important part to a design, how you put it on paper. And quite honestly now, I look at some of the young designers' work, and I've seen high school students do better work. And I find that appalling because if you can't see to put it on down on paper, how can you see when you go into the fitting room that the proportions aren't right on the act, the shape, you can't see the colours right. So and were there painters, other yeah. painters who influenced you? And at that time, the, the art college I went to was a very strong Cezanne influence. Very important painter. Surfaces, shapes, awareness of shapes, awareness of form. And over the years, there have been so many painters. And what's interesting is the painters that are some of my favourites have followed that pattern that Cezanne has been a very strong influence on all of them. Like Francis Bacon, Graham Sutherland, Lucien Freud, all of these painters.